Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to combine and unpivot multiple files in Power Query. Now, when you're trying to combine and unpivot files or do some kind of transformation, on one file, it's easy. One or two files, it's easy. Three to five files, hmm, maybe it's going to be more of a hassle. More files, oh, you might as well just take the later train home. There's a better way to do this. And the first time when, after you set it up, it almost becomes automated. And it's going to be using Power Query. So let's see how we can do this. So I have a table like this, Q1, Q2, Q3, and I wanted to turn it into a proper table like this so I can do some further analysis. Let's say that this is something I do on a recurring basis, and I have multiple tables or multiple files with people doing this. It's in the same format, but it's different people. Let's say, let's say it's salespeople. So in this example, I've got these three files here within a folder, and they've got the same thing, and I want to transform it into that proper table set, but combine all these files with their names. And we want to make this future proof. So I want to have it where I can put another file in there, another person, and it's just going to do the same thing automatically. Let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to go a different sheet here. Uh, just make it easier to view. Go to data, go data, get data from file, from folder. And I'm going to search for that folder. So here's my folder. I'll just click on it and click open. And it's going to bring in the Power Query editor. And it's going to see that my folder content is there. I have my, I have my three files here. And then I'm going to select combine, combine and transform because I want to transform that data. And what Power Query is going to do is it's going to set up a bunch of other um, helper queries. And part of this process is selecting a sample file to do that transformation. So it's going to look for that first file in the folder for you to do your transformation and use it as a template for the other ones. So I'm going to click OK here and it's going to bring it into Power Query Editor. And we're going to do the transformations here. It's got the different files, we have our queries, and then there's these helper queries. And this is the part where it's going and looking for a sample template to bring it in for our transformation. So what I wanna do is I wanna to go to this transform sample file, and this is where we're gonna do the transformation. So this transform sample file, you see the name here, is where we wanna do our changes. So I'm gonna go here, you can see that this is a table, and this is where I need to change it. Select this column, and right click, remove other columns and select the table so it pulls it all out. Now I wanted this transformation. This is a very simple transformation. Make these as headers, use first row as headers, and then unpivot it so it becomes all a two column table. Right click, unpivot other columns, and we have our two our, our three column table. And make this items, I'll just call it, give it a proper title or a more recognizable title, items. This is the quarter. And that should be it. And value, I'll keep that as is. So now when I go into the query, the output query, you can see that all the transformation has been done. Uh, let me refresh this. The transformation has been done and it's brought in the source name of the file. And all I need to do is maybe make this a little bit more readable. And what we can do is extract the information here, Jay, Sheree, Jane, and John. And that we can do is go to transform, go to extract, Let's extract between delimiters. There's a dash there and there's a period there. So we have a dash and a period, but I don't want it to look at the first dash. I want to look at the last dash. So I'll go to advanced options. We'll start from the end and it's going to pull out the name between the dash and the period. Click OK. And we've got our name there. Right click, let's make these proper names. We will transform it into a capitalize each word and now we've got our names there. I'll keep that column title there, it's fine. And click close and load. It's gonna close it load into the sheet here and now we've got our proper table. And you see we have J3 here, Q1, Q2, Q3, item two, Q1, Q2, Q3. And as I mentioned before, this is future proof. So I can bring in another file and it's gonna put it in here. So let's bring in another file. So I have my Raj file here. I'm just gonna pull it into the team folder where everything else is. Double click on team. You can see if I double click there, Raj is in there. Go back into my Excel worksheet. And you can see Raj is not here, but if I right click the table, refresh, Raj's information is going to be there. It's the last one now. You can see that now Raj's information is there. So this kind of future proofs it. So if I wanted to put additional files later on in the future, it's going to automatically do the transformation. And I have brought in all my files into one worksheet and combine them all together. Using Power Query to help you combine and unpivot your data is pretty easy. And once you set it up, it almost becomes semi-automated. Just learned a couple steps how to do it, get a cup of coffee, and bam, 
your life is going to be so much more easier. For more videos like this, click the banner at the end.